Hi folks, um, in this video I'm going to show you quickly how to create a pivot table in ClickView. So if we go up to the uh, icon up here to create a chart, we'll choose pivot table, click next. For this example we're going to choose dimension city, um, month and product ID, click add, I'm going to promote product ID, click next. The expression is going to be sum quantity. Click paste, click OK, and then click finish. So at the moment it, it appears something selected, so we're just going to clear it. And again, at the moment it, it doesn't really look like a pivot table uh, as you uh, recognize, say, in Excel. So we're going to go to presentation and click always fully expanded. Then we're going to, for month. We want to, uh, we want to see city product ID, and we want to see month uh, coming across the top. So we can just left click, and drag until you get that uh, horizontal blue line with the arrow. Just let go, and then it will, you know, each month will appear across the top. We can then just make each column for month uh, a little bit smaller. We can actually get rid of the label for month by dragging it back because it's kind of makes sense we all know that these are months at the top and then what we can do is we can for product ID we can show partial sums and we can give a subtotal click OK and then we can just drag drag it down we could go back into properties uh, the presentation and say untick always fully expanded uh, for the we can also center align everything just makes it a little bit neater so we'll do it for everything click OK I'm just gonna maximize that one and then for the zero values we're gonna say so our null symbol, our missing symbols, we're going to put in zero. And that's pretty much it. That's how you can create a pivot table in ClickView. And again, you can just ex export that to Excel. Um, so I hope that helps, and I'll see you next video. Cheers.